Here's the secret nobody tells you. Attention is the new currency. The more eyes you capture, the more opportunities you create. Stop scrolling. Start creating. Hi everyone. So let's begin with this tutorial. As you can see in the start, first you can see in the start, you have, you know, some text popping up and the background. Let's bring in the background. All the assets will be in the description. So make sure to check it out. And what I'm going to do is head on to adjust and then increase or decrease the blacks make it something like this let's do with the text so i have already written the text here okay let me tell you so i have used the font in new md okay this is a nice and long text okay i have used this text but as you can see over here there is you know transparent background to do that what i'm going to do is increase the size first hit alt plus g to make it a compound clip go inside make it green and then i'll just head on to stroke okay make this red decrease the thickness to somewhat six and let's head back out now just simply head on to remove background chroma key click this color picker tool and select the clean part increase the intensity okay with this you will get the transparent part Okay, and expand it over here. Now we can also decrease the opacity to make it fade in with the background. And the next part is here's the secret. So I have also written that text. Like me bring it over here. Okay, for this I have used Helvetica light font. Okay, and this secret part, as you can see, I have made it red and made it, you know, italics and bold. Rest this is white and normal. So I just bring it over here, bring all of this to the center of the frame. Okay, somewhat like this. And in the start, as you can see, speed up animation is there. So select this video, transform keyframe, go ahead, gain transform keyframe, go to the start and bring it down somewhat here. Also decrease the, also hit on the opacity keyframe on the same places now at the first film make it zero so we like this animation hit alt plus k and then hit cubic up it's too slow so i'll bring the keyframes closer and then this text as you can see the text same is there coming one by one okay so to do that you have to you know give separate words okay meaning here's will be one text layer the will be one text layer and secret will be one text layer you can't you know do this with one text layer yeah this animation okay but if you want to you know do it exactly like this okay then you have to just make separate layers and do this same animation which i did for this secret text layer you have to do the same for that okay so after this animation scene will cut so it's finished over here what we are going to do is hit b to cut it okay and then our next scene will start which is this nobody tells you so for that let me bring in my text okay make this small so as you can see it going up okay the same animation so you have to do the same thing now as you can see it's small at the start and it goes up in size i'll just do the animation first by hitting the transform keyframe and the blend keyframe go ahead again hit transform and blend go to the start bring it down Bring the opacity zero. You get this animation. Hit Alt plus K. Okay. I'll also cut the background from here. Okay. And then I will just turn and bring my next word, which is below in white. Okay. Tells you. And put it over here. 
make it smaller now for this i will head on to animation and do again wave in okay as you can see i have done the wave in animation let me increase the timing now let me add some question marks so to do that i'm just simply going to copy this okay and change to question mark and increase the opacity okay make this stroke to white okay also i'll change the font to something simpler like this okay so it matches the tone and simply copy this and put one over here let's make them small okay now as you can see let me just select these and head on to animation make them fading as you can see in the reference video it zooms up in okay so to do that simply just i'll cut my background here select all of these hit or plus c to make everything a compound clip here what i'll do is cut increase the size head on to video go ahead and carry it this side in the starting frame it should be here okay now i'll hit all plus k and then cubic out So did it something like this? Okay, let's see the animation. Okay, if you want to make the sizes bigger or adjust the positions, as you can see, question mark is not visible. You can just head on to the compound clipping, okay, and then make changes like bring these here. Okay, now let's see. Yeah, and just cut it from here. Okay. So this will be our animation on the first two scenes. And now the main part of the animation, okay, which is this eye opening animation. So to make that, first we need to design the eye. So head on to text, okay, windows plus dot key and let's select the square, increase the size, okay. Let's make it bigger hit all plus g to make it a compound clip round to video and decrease the opacity okay and let's bring our reference clip below this okay now i'll head on to mask add mask and pen tool i'll start tracing the eye on my white background okay So I just click here, then here, Okay, now I'll just increase back the opacity and as you can see, we have brought the eye shape. Now simply just bring in another text layer. Okay, windows plus dot key, circle. Let's make this, you know, red. Okay, so I'll just color big whip this and then 
and then to size and now for the inside part again I'll copy this circle okay change to this color and make it small and put it inside okay something like this bring back my eye and bring both of these on top over here something like this so this is how you will design the eye okay now for the animation you can see that it opens up and then looks down okay so what we can do is select this okay wipe part and then head on to PDO deselect uniform scale and as you can see scale height thing you have to just keyframe it go ahead again keyframe it and then increase it back to 100 or whatever it's there in the width Okay, now hit Alt plus K and let's smoothen it out by hitting cubic out. And as you can see, these need to be, you know, same. So first, compound clip them and then head on to video, do the same thing now. Okay, so. We have got the eye opening animation. Now after the eye opens, the rays come out. And as you can see, this thing will go down. Okay, but as you can see, when it goes down, there is this, you know, part. It's not full circle. It's cutting over here. So that is the reason why we have done them separately now. Okay. To make that cut in this area. So what I'm going to do is... Now do the animation so it opens up from here basically you know and click on this keyframe and go ahead and bring it down till here. But as you can see it is going out of the frame we don't want that so we will fix that hit on plus K and then cubic out okay. So it opens up and then goes down. Now what we are going to do is basically select all of these and compound tip them. Okay, so when you see it goes down, what I'm going to do is select this. Okay. Hit on mask, circle. Okay. What we are going to do is it goes down. We have to make something like this let me just select this and decrease the opacity so we can see our mask properly make sure to adjust it then i'll add on to mask and keyframe this position go to the start and expand it okay now make all plus k and then let's do the same animation of cubic out Okay, now I'll have to just increase back our opacity on the eye. So as you can see, when it goes down, there is this effect of cutting. Okay, so it cuts and then simply what we have to do, click on the transform PFA, go ahead, drag this up to the top. Okay, and it's all plus K and cubic out and bring them to the so now we have to do the raise animation you have to do the same thing now i'll just copy this okay our sh white shape layer and paste it over here make this red and make it a pump out lip click on mask pen tool and let's Make this shape. Okay. Now, as you can see, we have got the shape or the light. Bring it below this layer. 
okay and kick it over here and from here what we are going to do is basically deselect it from scale decrease the width to zero click on the key plane go ahead and make it back to 100 a dot plus k and cubic out so we get this animation and then for the next part which is this paper currency just have to bring it over here okay again we had to use our pen tool so after this opens up from here what we can do is basically again select man uh, mask pen tool and now simply just make some weird shapes okay like this copy it change the position of the shape okay copy it again change the position of this shape again now what we have to do is basically clip on the keyframes on all of them from here yeah just expand these to reveal the full paper do the same with all and just you know hit B to disable it and add on to the next just pull on all the corners okay to reveal the you know currency and let's keep repeating these hit V on all of them as you can see you get this animation to make it smoother just simply change the timings of each of the keyframes okay and head on to animation and like fade him on all of them okay now it is a bit of you know this animation which is over here you have to make a lot of these okay so make sure that you make more these are not enough so make sure so if we like this okay now after that there is this splash and then scene change okay so simply after this animation you can just cut everything okay select all and hit d cut it okay you can put this over here and just cut this also okay for a transition sort of thing so let's see what we have till now and then from here this birdman animation so simply just head on do animation and i do slide up for this okay and for these let me show you yeah just head on here copy these okay these inner eye parts paste it over here make them small hit alt plus g to make a compound clip now just we have to copy the compound clip and now just a simple animation where they will come in okay so just head on to video transform keyframe on all of them go ahead and again transform keyframe on all of them okay and at the start just select them and bring them out okay so you can smoothen this out using keyframes okay so for the end part all the animations which are there are basically text animations which you learned at the start so it will be easy for you to complete the whole animation or the rest of the animation by yourself so hope you learned something new. See you in the next.